Hello everybody, welcome to a new Composer Talk. My name is Tim Hormans and I'm your host here at www.filmmusicsite.com. Today I will be talking to composers Marco Beltrami and Buck Sanders. Film composer Marco Beltrami was born in Long Island, New York. He attended USC's Thornton School of Music in LA, where he studied under legendary composer Jerry Goldsmith. His big break came in 1996 when Beltrami was hired to score the horror smash hit Scream by none other than Wes Craven. In 1997, he captured everyone's attention with his score for Mimic. On many of his scores, Marco Beltrami has worked with Buck Sanders. Buck moved to LA in the late 80s and some years later found himself assisting Marco Beltrami. He specializes in creating interesting and unique sound design and textures. Recently, they both worked on Max Payne, 310 to Yuma, the Academy Award nominated score for The Hurt Locker, and their latest score, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. This year alone, Marco Beltrami has written music for four films, Scream 4, Soul Surfer, Don't Be Afraid of the Dark, and The Thing. Now, you also uh, said you were working on The Thing. Now, the film, The Thing, can we see this as a remake, a prequel, or a sequel that's coming out? It's a it's a prequel that actually takes place just a few days before the John Carpenter film. The score of the original film was composed by Ennio Morricone. Um, do you make any musical reference to his original score? Yeah, in a couple of places. Um, it's it's uh, and and especially at the end when um, when the film itself actually transitions pretty seamlessly into the beginning of the. Um, uh, uh, other movie, the for earlier movie, uh, then it, it becomes very prominent. But um, there, you know, it's a it's a very simple motive. It's just a rhythmical uh, thing in the heartbeat. in the, in the yeah. heartbeat, and uh, and so it's something that um, you know we we uh, at least subtly give attention to in a few areas. Now, since this is also a horror score, how different will this one be from Scream 4 and Don't Be Afraid of the Dark? A very different approach on this. The, uh, the, um, the con- concept on this was to, you know, there's two aspects. There's this aspect of uh, this loneliness of, of uh, these people being out in, the, in this desert uh, landscape um, and... Um, as they realize that they're sort of facing each other and on their own. And then also this element for the creature itself, which uh, um, had an orchestral motive, which was sort of almost taking the, uh, treating the orchestra as a, almost as a living organism, which had, which was breathing and sort of expanding and contracting. So um, it, it, it was a conceptual thing that was very different than just simple character uh, themes that you might have in like a screen movie. Buck also, uh, you know, had this idea of it's such a windy landscape of actually tuning the wind so that it worked uh, as a harmonic structure behind music that was being played as well. Okay, now 20 interviews. I have uh, three short questions for you. What was your favorite project that you both worked on? Different ones are favorite for different reasons. Uh, one that's special for, for I think, uh, Marco and I is like, uh, just the way we approach the film is uh, Three Burials, uh, Nokiata Sestrata, where, uh, you know, we really explored sounds and it was, it felt much more sort of free than the, you know, the stuff before it. And I think it sort of, Defined the next sort of, you know, even up till now, I, I think that pro, that sort of mentality of exploring sounds it, it still resonates, you know, even in films like The Thing, and uh, I, I felt that is very liberating that that experience, and uh, we had a lot of fun on it. Yeah, it's sort of the first film that we started a new way of working. And um, and all the films since then have been affected by that new way of working, and it's uh, it was prominently uh, expanded on in some of the movies that 
garnered more attention, like um, Three Ten to Yuma and the Herd Locker, and uh, um, I, I think it's uh, it's an exciting way to work. Mm -hmm. Now, what is your favorite score from another composer? People ask me this all the time. I, I, I like specific parts of specific, you know, specific pieces of specific films, and sometimes um, it's uh, for reasons that you might not expect. But um, you know, I can tell you some of my major influences have been um, Bernard Herrmann and uh, uh, Nino Rota and Jerry Goldsmith, uh, Morricone. Um, it's a pick a particular film, which is uh, I, it is a very difficult thing to do. And uh, who is your favorite composer of all time? Uh, another one. That's a very difficult question. I maybe um, go ahead and say Chris Beck. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Beck is an old college buddy of his. So. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I, um, I, don't, I don't know. It's hard to say. All right. Now, guys, thank you very much uh, for the interview, and I wish you the best of luck for the future with all your upcoming projects. Thanks. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.